Hey yo everybody, Haku here with my review of this week's episode of Maho Shoujo Week Say Kick Haku should be episode 8 this week, and uh, this was another really, really heavy one, so I'm assuming a lot of you are probably, uh, probably still getting over it. But we start out with um, a flashback of Nana and Weiss confronting Mary, and of course a fight breaks out and Weiss and Nana escape. Now, um, then we get into the opening. The opening has really grown on me. I like it a lot more than I did at first. I still like the ending more personally, just because um, it's uh, just Nano is such a good artist. Um, so yeah, I like the ending more still. Uh, so back to uh, Nana and Weiss at Ruler's Hideout, where we left off um, last week. And uh, there were a lot of Nana death flags, I thought. I was, I was predicting since the very beginning that Nana would die to... Um, make Weiss's character go further and be able to help defeat the uh, bad guys and stuff, but uh, I was completely ass backwards it would seem. Um, and the thing with being backwards is it seemed like if Nana died to push Weiss's character forward, Weiss had the power to really stand up to say Cranberry or Calamity Mary. She had that sort of fighting ability. Nana doesn't seem to have the same fighting capability, so Weiss dying to push Nana's character um, is just a, it's a little bit more odd, a little bit more unconventional to me because it seems like Nana just doesn't have the sort of um, ability that Weiss would have to stand up to Cranberry or Calamity Mary. Uh, she does have her ability that can um, increase people's physical abilities or their power or something like that. So of course she can always maintain her alliance to Hardcore Alice and to uh, Snow White, and Hardcore Alice seems like she's actually pretty good in a physical fight, so that with uh, support from Snow White and uh, support from Sister Nana may actually make Hardcore Alice our girl to try to save the day maybe, I have no clue. Um, and that would leave, uh, yeah, so getting back to it, I said from the beginning we do find out that uh, Mary uh, was the one that taught Ruler, but I've said from the beginning that this was totally going to be a trap, and it was a trap, and the trap was to stab Weiss, and the twins did it by one of them transforming into a knife and one transforming into Sister Nana. And I knew it said that the one could transform into any living creature, but I'm really surprised that, um, or at least I was really surprised at first that they could transform into another person. I thought that they just meant any kind of animal or anything. So that was um, interesting to me as well. Uh, then uh, Weiss throws Nana out of the building and tells her to run and everything. And best girl Weiss, finally, finally, well I mean not best girl, I mean Cranberry's still there. But Weiss was amazing, she finally kills Yuna and I have been waiting for somebody to kill the angels because I find them pretty annoying. So um, I was like, yes, b bash your face in. Um, then she loses an arm to Swim Swim who is really getting on my nerves, which is... I think, um, I think good because it's supposed to kind of be that way where her morality because she's a kid is like really freaking warped. So um, the warped morality is really good writing. It's just really bothering me as like a fan of the story and everything. Like a fan of the character, seeing somebody like that kill your character, um, even if it's well written, it's like, ah, why'd they have to do it? But we have some uh, really amazing um, backstory flashbacks and really all of the scenes with that fight, um, with the flashbacks and everything, they were some of the most well animated scenes we've had for the series so far and it looked really really good, they were really good scenes. Um, then we have the uh, midpoint cards and the cards this week are Calamity Mary or Yamamoto Naoko who has the ability to enhance weapons and in real life she's an alcoholic abusive housewife. And also Cranberry's card said that she can manipulate sound, which we kind of got when she fought against, um, kind of put two and two together when she fought against uh, Weiss and she made it sound like Nana was screaming and yet Nana wasn't there behind her. Um, and also when she fought against La Pucelle and La Pucelle heard the sirens and everything but the sirens weren't around them. So um, kind of put two and two together, but we didn't have a... I'm wondering, does she have a human form? They didn't have this, they didn't have any human card. Um, I'm hoping she has a human form. I'm hoping we get to see it because right now, now that we have lost Weiss, um, Cranberry is like best girl left standing, other than maybe potentially future Hardcore Alice. Um, just because she is metal as fuck. Hardcore Alice is so metal. Um, 
then uh, we have the real life top speed I could easily tell from the voice and she's totally pregnant they like never showed her stomach on camera the way she was with her husband she's totally pregnant and uh, her real name Subame we found that out quite a few episodes back from the uh, mid roll cards um, so uh, then we have the um, we have a uh, Nana in the apartment and she is broken. Of course, she just lost wife. She is completely broken. I'm really interested to see where it takes the character because of that and of course she blames herself through the flashbacks. We see that she's the one that of course we already knew from Magicaloid. Uh, in that story she pushed Weiss to become a magical girl, she pushed Weiss to do all these different things, and so now of course she blames herself for Weiss's death. Then um, we have some uh, Mary flashbacks and she is 100% worst girl. You could not have a more hateable character. She's killing innocent people later in the episode, she beats her daughter, she's an alcoholic, she is just a really, she is worst girl by far. Um, also, I love, I love so much, um, Fav's manipulation of her, where he's like, you know, you can, um, you're weak, but you can take down the strong, you can take down the people who are just so confident, and just the way he manipulates her and gets serious with her, it was really good. Um, and of course, I have been saying, again, for a long time, I was backwards with Weiss and Nana, so I could be wrong here, but I've been saying from pretty much since the beginning that somebody's going to kill um, Top Speed to uh, push. And honestly, I think they might kill her before she's able to have the baby to make it even more tragic. But I think somebody's going to kill Top Speed in order to push Ripple's character to the forefront and make her like the big main one fighting against Fav. Um, I do think that Snow White will stay more of a main character. The show doesn't really have main main characters, but Snow White will stay sort of a main character, but she isn't going to be the one fighting against Fav as much as Ripple, I would or yeah, as much as Ripple would be, I would say. So I think she's totally gonna kill Top Speed. And I was expecting when Top Speed was telling her story of how she was in the biker gang and they were just talking about waiting for Mary, I was just expecting super sad shocking moment of her to just get sniped out of nowhere, but no, Ripple saves her and they run off. Um, so when they run off, we see uh, Kuyuki with the rabbit's foot, and we have a flashback to her meeting Alice, and I just really want to see more of, um, more of Hardcore Alice. I'm really, really interested in the character. But uh, Mary starts killing a bunch of innocent people in order to draw the others in, and um, Snow White starts heading in. She meets Hardcore Alice on the way, so those two start moving in. Uh, no clue whether or not Top Speed and Ripple will turn back or not. Uh, I'm assuming they probably will. Cranberry seems uninterested in going, but she's interested that somebody did kill Weiss. Um, so I think she's going to probably be a little bit peeved about that. And um, also we see uh, Tama appears to be against all of the violence and terrible things that Swim Slim is doing. So, ah man, I know Tama's probably going to die eventually, but I don't want her to because she does not deserve this shit. Um, but yeah, Swim Swim is planning to use Mary's distraction to swoop in and kill the girls coming in to help. And um, I think Minael is with her because Minael is just on this big revenge kick now that Yuna's been killed. So that's pretty much uh, where we have. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty much where we ended is everybody really setting their characters in motion and being ready to go into this... Um, fight against Calamity Mary or just this big battle royal fight where Calamity Mary is killing all these innocent people at. At least that's where it seems like we may be heading. Um, so yeah, this episode as a whole, it was super, super sad seeing Weiss die because Weiss was such a great character, but it did not hit me nearly as hard as Nemedin. More than being sad or thinking it was tragic, it was more of just the thing that makes you angry like, ah, oh, somebody killed these friggin', friggin' Swim Swims group except for Tama. Um, especially the angels. Screw the angels. Um, so the fights were really awesome. The fights looked really good. We had a lot of backstory and a lot of seeing the girls in their real life forms. And that is one of the things that I like the most in the show and that I like seeing. So I really enjoyed that. And we're at, what, 10 girls left? So only two more need to die. And if I were to pick two more that had to die, I'm going... Uh, or that I would want to, not that are going to. I think a lot more are going to. I don't think we're going to get away with only, um, I don't think we're going to get away 
with that many surviving. I don't think we're going to get away with eight alive. I think we might get away with like four to six at the most alive. Um, but I would say two that I want to die, Calamity Mary and Minael. Um, maybe Swim Swim as well. I just think that, ah, uh, I know it, Swim Swim's just a kid and that's why her morality so messed up, but she has done some seriously messed up stuff that I just feel like if it goes unpunished, man, she's done some messed up stuff. Uh, so yeah, the animation in this episode is probably the best it's been all series. I mean, the animation has never been bad in this show, but I thought that this looked the nicest visually. Um, and uh, yeah, so because of all this, I thought it was really emotional, good storyline. We got to see what I love, which is more of the backstories and the girls and the real, their real life forms. Um, we got a bunch of deaths. We Just a good story, really well made. I can't think of a single thing I didn't like about it, but even with no nothing that I didn't like, I just feel there's just this feeling I don't really want to give it a perfect score, so I'll give it like 9.75 freaking alcoholic abusive housewives. I don't I don't even know anymore. Um, so yeah, the 9.75 out of 10 because really close to perfect, but I just it didn't feel quite. It wasn't as big and bad as some of the other um, some of the other episodes we've had. I feel even though it, it even though it was really great. So um, yeah, I guess that's where I stand with this episode. I really really loved it, and um, I'm wondering what you guys thought as well. So like if you did like the video, and comment down there and tell me what you thought of this episode and what you thought of my thoughts on it. Um, right now, who am I saying is best girl or my favorite characters? Uh, best girl's probably Cranberry right now. Favorite characters, pff, either Cranberry or Hardcore Alice, one of the two. Um, I do like pretty much all of them. I, I would say I like pretty much every single one of them except maybe Calamity Mary. I really, she is just such a hateable character. Not that she's badly written, it's just I don't like her personally because she's a dick. But um, yeah, that's about it. I'd say Cranberry and Hardcore Alice are my favorites right now. Um, and... Yeah, subscribe for more My Ojo Joe Weeks, aka Kaku, and a ton of other stuff on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want as well, and try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel. And that is it, so thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.